I'm not sure, but uh, I think we're finally here. So uh, I will call to order the organizational, uh, organizational meeting of the Common Council of the City of Platteville. It's Tuesday, April 21st. It's 6.05 p.m. And we are holding this meeting via Zoom with the opportunity for anybody who wants to join in another method to do so by means of the phone. So Candace, we'll start with roll call. Barb Doss? Yes. Eileen Nichols? Yes. Ken Killian? Here. Kathy Cobb? Yes. Jason Arts? Here. Robin Klein? Here. Isaac Shanley? Yes. Motion. We're here. <laughs> Good. Uh, and the first order of business is the administration of the oath of office. This is very interesting, Candace, for you to be able to do this. It I is. Welcome you. This is kind of an unusual, unusual methodology, but nonetheless, we'll get her done. Okay, Kim, take it away. All right. So up first, just by random selection, I have Eileen Nichols. So I will just ask you to raise your right hand and repeat after me. So I state your name. I, Eileen Nichols. Having been elected or appointed to the office of Alderperson District 2. Having been elected or appointed to the office of Alderperson District 2. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of said office. And will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of said office. To the best of my ability, so help me God. To the best of my ability, so help me that. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. And then I have Kathy Cobb. So I will also ask you just to repeat after me. So I state your name. I, Kathy Cobb. Having been elected or appointed to the office of Alderperson at large. Having been elected or appointed to the office of Alderperson at large. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of said office. And will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of said office. To the best of my ability, so help me God. To the best of my ability, so help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yay. And Welcome back, Eileen. So I think that uh, kind of takes care of that. The next item on the agenda is the election of council president. So I guess you would say nominations are open. I can get unmuted. I'd like to make a nomination for Barb Doss. I'll second. Are there other nominations? So is there a move, move to uh, close nominations? I move to close the nominations and cast unanimous ballot for Barb Dawes. A second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Candace will vote. Uh, Dawes? <laughs> I guess yes. Nichols? <laughs> yes. Killian? Yes. Cop? Yes. Arts? Yes. Klein? Yes. Shanley. Yes. Motion okay. carries. Thank you very much. And uh, in this time of very unprecedented activity, I mean, Eileen and I and Adam have been, I think, on two calls today. And it's not unusual for one or all three of us or each of us to be on separate calls on a daily basis. I will again designate Eileen. Uh, she's carrying. Uh, uh, the weight of some of our uh, 
protocols, uh, particularly as they deal with regional activity. So thanks, Eileen. Eileen, by the way, for all of your information, is currently the vice chair, is that what it's called, vice chair, vice president of yeah. the Grant County Economic Development Corporation. And during, I think the coming year, we'll be taking over as president of that organization. Okay, the next item on our agenda is the election of a plan commission member. And uh, I, uh, as we do this, I would say there was one person who expressed interest in being on the plan commission on your little checklist. And so I don't know if it's appropriate for me to nominate someone, but if I can do so, I would nominate Isaac Shanley because he's the person who's expressed interest in doing this job. I'll second so that. Either. I'll second it. Do I hear other nominations? Do I hear a move to close nominations? I move to close nominations. And elect. And, and elect, elect Isaac, Isaac Shanley for airport commission. Plan and commission. Plan commission. Plan commission. Plan commission. Right? Okay. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to elect Isaac to the position on the plan commission. That's actually the only elected. Uh, position on boards and commissions, and I don't know why, but candidates will vote. Doss? Yes. Nichols? Yes. Killian? Yes. Cop? Yes. Arts? Yes. Klein? Yes. Shanley? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Good that you <laughs> right. voted, Isaac. Thank you yep. for doing that. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Yeah. In the next item on the agenda is appointments to boards and commissions, and I have not done that. Uh, Colette sent me all of the information this afternoon, so Eileen and I and Adam will work through that in the next three or four days. Um, Kathy, uh, for your information, it's uh, probably three or four assignments per person. Okay. There's about 27 positions that have to be filled. And so it, it ends up being three or four per person sure. as it comes out. Uh, I, I often take the committees nobody else wanted, like the complete count committee. <laughs> I mean, there are just some committees that nobody wants to serve on. So that would be that. All right, so, then, so we'll have those for you and likely we'll contact you prior to the next meeting to make sure that those fit in your schedule. Okay, uh, well, I don't know. We don't need to talk about the council seating arrangement, do we? That's the next thing on our agenda, but uh, Kathy, um, uh, when we go back to the council chambers, if you want to move your seat, um, Isaac Barb was sitting by you, right? Uh, no, oh. she was Hi, sitting Isaac. by me. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you want to move about, <clears throat> uh, what's happened most recently is the new person elected just kind of sits in the chair where the past person was. So and that's uh, where Kathy we, is right now. <laughs> so. Oh, is she in the council chambers? <laughs> she is with us. Yes. I am. Oh, no. Well, there you go. Well, not like the rest of us. So, okay. Well, that's where you are right now, then. <laughs> and I'm sure that Candace or 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 Jody or somebody will see to having a little sign made for you that says your name. Okay. Hey, Barb, I have a question okay. for you. Yes. On the, when you fill out the, or excuse me, when you designate the uh, boards and the commissions members, right. um, that little sheet that we had out that was sent out, yep. could you check, could you check each one of those and just send it to each one of us after it's I, concluded? Yes. All right. Yep, I will. I will, and we'll, I'll try to do that before the next meeting. The other thing is, is we're going to, uh, it hasn't been a practice, but I said, uh, we're gonna try to make it a practice that we record that in the council minutes. We, rec we record everybody else's appointment to boards and commissions, but for whatever reason, we've never recorded in the council minutes who of what council member is serving on what committee. So we'll try to do that too. Is there uh, an effective date on those as well? Uh, May 1st. Okay. 
I think May 1st, sure. because the appointment won't be made until the 28th. So the first meeting that Isaac would go to for plan commission will likely be the 3rd of May. And I think that's probably the first meeting of a committee or commission after the 1st of May. So we'll just make him the 1st of May. All right, uh, we have two action items. One is resolution 1905 designating the official newspaper. So, and uh, the Plaffield Journal has uh, served as our official newspaper. I don't know how long. Maybe Steve knows how long. But you can't talk because I have him on mute. <laughs> Steve, do you know how long? Well, I can't unmute him either. All right, well, anyway, we're looking at resolution uh, 20-09 assigning uh, the Platteville Journal as the official newspaper. Do I have a motion? I make a motion to assign the Platteville Journal as the official newspaper for the city of Platteville. And do I have a second? Second. All right, motion by Isaac, second by Ken to uh, designate the Platteville Journal or assign the Platteville Journal as our official newspaper. Candace will vote. Doss? Yes. Nichols? Yes. Killian? Yes. Cop? Yes. Arts? Yes. Klein? Yes. Shanley? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, next we will uh, take up an action item continuation of city attorney and special counsel for for well, for prosecution. <laughs> word, Nicola. So would you like to handle this one, Nicola? Just tell us about it. Sure. So um, the, in the city uh, ordinances, in the charter ordinances, there um, is uh, 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 a requirement that the city, uh, that the council uh, appoint the city attorney and it will be a two year appointment. Um, we went through a process, I believe 2017, where uh, we, we are, our former city attorney was retiring and so we went through at that time it was decided to uh, break that out into two services one for general counsel and one for prosecutorial services um, and uh, it was also decided um, last year that this should be uh, an item that comes before the council on an annual basis uh, for approval and so that that also gives the council an opportunity that if um, if the council decided that they they wanted to revisit the appointment and through an RFP process that uh, the council did, could decide to do that. But um, in the absence of wanting to do that, um, and staff is recommending that the council approve the reappointment of city attorney and special counsel. Um, and so uh, that would be Bill Cole of Axley Brindelson and um, Ben Wood of the Wood Law Firm. Do I have any questions? Eileen, any questions? No. Uh, Jason, any questions? No. Isaac, questions? No questions. Nope. Uh, Ken, any questions? No questions. Kathy, any questions? No. Robin, any questions? No. Okay, then um, do I hear a motion? I would move to approve Mr. Wood and Mr. Cole as our attorneys for the city of Platteville. Okay, do I have a second? Second. Second. Okay, we have a motion by Eileen, a second by Ken. Candace will vote. Doss? Yes. Nichols? Yes. Killian? Yes. Cop? Yes. Arts? Yes. Klein? Yes. Shanley? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, that uh, wraps up the action items on our agenda. Um, I would uh, tell you, I would uh, say to everyone, thank you for all you're doing for our residents in the city of Platteville. Um, there have been many needs and uh, we know that many people are working behind the scenes to make sure that people uh, are fed, that people have a place to stay, uh, that people can continue their lives in the best possible way in these unprecedented times. Um, 
now I'm looking for a motion to adjourn and go to new council member orientation. So do I have a motion to adjourn? I move, I move to, to adjourn. adjourn. Okay, I have a motion by Jason and a second by Ken or vice versa to adjourn. You pick the ones, Candace, and we'll vote. Doss? Yes. Nichols? Yes. Killian? Yes. Cop? Yes. Arts? Yes. Klein? Yes. Shanley? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, we're adjourned.